everybody, I am holding in my hands what looks just like an iPad Air 2, but it is in fact the new iPad Pro 9.7. Uh, it has all of the new internals that we have on the big, much larger iPad Pro, but in a smaller body. So we have four speakers, we have the A9X processor, um, actually, we have some technology that isn't in the new iPad Pro. For example, the screen has got this True Tone screen that will read the ambient color in the room and adjust the color temperature of the screen to match so that, uh, you know, in a yellow room, your white should look a little more yellow because they're reflective like paper. Same basic idea here. Uh, the other thing that is new that the iPad Pro doesn't have is this right here, it's the 12 megapixel camera, same one that you'll find in iPhone 6S or the new iPhone 5, or iPhone SE, excuse me. Um, and just like the 6 and 6S, there's a camera bump. Come on, guys, get it together. Uh, since it's an iPad Pro, it also supports iPad Pro style accessories. So on the bottom here, we have this smart connector, which lets you connect it up to a keyboard in this awkward setup. Somehow, there we go. We have a full-size keyboard. Uh, it has a few like standard Apple shortcuts, so you can, in fact, command tab, which is kind of neat. And you know, typing on it is fine. Uh, most keyboards that are designed for the iPad Air, uh, or in this case, the iPad Pro, end up being okay for some people and a huge bother for others. I'm like right in the middle. Uh, you could get used to it. The keys are well separated. Uh, it feels pretty good, not too clacky. So it's a decent enough keyboard. And then, of course, you can also use the Apple Pencil with this device. So you are able to draw and draw some other stuff. I'm not a very good drawer. In any case, the iPad Pro, or I guess we'll call it the iPad Pro 9.7, starts at $599, and it's going to be available on March 31st. If you want to know more about this or about anything else that happened today at Apple, check us out on The Verge.